Hello, my man here playing Farming Simulator 15 on Oklahoma. We're still working on harvesting barley on field three yet. We're almost actually uh, done with this here. Got the uh, two Pace 9230 quad tracks. <laughs> and I'm not sure why they're called quad tracks. I mean, I don't think that's actually the right name for them. I just have to uh, notice that here last episode. Yeah, Case Axial Flow 92. I don't know why they're called quad tracks. But anyway. Uh, work on harvesting here yet this episode. Also, between episodes, I went finished planting field two. So, field two is done, uh, except for one slight problem here. But apparently, when I went to refill the cedar, um, it switched to a different seed type on me. So, if we go look at, uh, is this the map? I think this is the one that will show us right. Uh, yeah, so, like, halfway through the field, that one uh, ran out of seed there. Had to switch to a different seed type. At least I'm assuming that's when it happened. And we went from soybeans to something else there. Corn, and it looks like, yeah, I think corn is it's probably the default crop type. Uh, when I went to refill that one, it apparently must have switched on me. So we need to, like, replant this field. Um, hired worker's not going to work with that. So I don't feel like doing it again. We're going to see if we get core supply to do this, because why not, right? Actually, I think we need to be in that mode, don't we? I believe we do. So we need to generate a field path here for this field two. Uh, we're going to be starting in, let's see, what's here? This will be the north, east, south, southwest corner. That sounds correct. That's the one right there that I wanted. Southwest corner, and we're going to be going north. Yes. Sure. Something like that. Uh, we don't need to replant the entire field, obviously, because uh, some of it is already, you know, like, all set. But let's see what's here. We're going to turn on... Here's the option here so I can see all the waypoints. Not an option for that. Uh, start, yeah, there we go. That's the one I want. I'm used to seeing the, the uh, dots, everyone. Now you have... There we go. Uh, that is... Okay, that is not right. Let's try that again. Did I not auto with this? Uh, let's try that and unload that. And then field two here again. Regenerate that. No, I want field two. There we go. Generate that course. There we go. That looks a little more, uh, a little more better. And approximately where do we need to be here? Probably try the line that's just off to our right side here. Hopefully that'll get most of it. So yeah, unfortunately, I need to replant the field here. Hopefully this planter will uh, just replant over what's what's there. On your way point. Yeah, let's go with that. So yeah, unfortunately, I figured I had this uh, field done. And then I happened to uh, get in the planter here for today's episode. I'm like, wait a minute, why is this set on that? Like, that's that... Why, why is it set on corn? That does not seem right. So it's like, okay, that's <laughs> that's not good. Went and checked the field. Evans like, ah, oh, crap. Well, how do you like that? Don't like that. That's the problem. Interesting enough, the uh, GPS actually lines up with my course play lines, doesn't it? To be expected, GPS and course play must be using the same width. So that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, hopefully that'll uh, take care of that problem, everyone. Oops. Good thing we caught that, though, because uh, otherwise that would have made uh, harvesting this field a bit uh, fun. Uh, nothing has started growing yet. That's just a uh, slight, uh, well, got to go plant it here again. Three liters, huh? Hmm. Probably should get him uh, fueled up here fairly soon. Should probably really get a bigger... Actually, when I do have the truck, why am I not using the truck on this? I have no idea, everyone. No idea. Uh, not using a grain cart just as of yet on these fields. I mean, they're just they're not that big. And uh, to be honest, I mean, the tractor and uh, trailer here is working really good. Again, got to emphasize that one. Horse playing 15 works really good compared to 19. Again, 19. I mean, just, just do yourself a favor, 19. Delete that horrible mod out of your folder. Now, you kind of need the field work mode from it yet, everyone, unfortunately. But if you're not using field work mode, just do yourself a favor. Delete horse play. It's horrendous. Stupid mod. Works great in 15, though. Unfortunately, you know, it is missing some of the. Uh, nice newer additions that 19 has but uh it is far far less derpy so i i guess you know we'll go without the nice new additions uh, in exchange for being less derpy right i'll definitely take the less derpy yeah once he unloads him we'll uh, run around the other shed here uh fuel him up here a minute again not something i'm used to having to do here in 19 i'm very very rarely do you have to refuel your vehicles in 19 at least for myself anyway i very rarely do I have to refuel them. Almost never. Okay, we'll uh, stop you here a minute. Run around the other side of the shed here where we got the fuel. And uh, fuel you up and then we'll get you uh, driving here again. 
Uh, plan on selling some horses here, damn it. I know we don't quite have a full load yet, but I want to sell some horses just to see once uh, where we're going to end up with those. Hold on. Brakes. And uh, that, I'm going to like to get some more money here so we get uh, another larger tractor, uh, planters. I'd like to get all that uh, stuff rolling here. So uh, we're going to sell some horses. Uh, they should make us some uh, decent money, hopefully. Uh, in which case, we can afford some equipment and probably not a field yet. I mean, if we can't have one, great. I uh, definitely want to get field six. I don't probably plan on buying any more fields than that. I didn't think, everyone. Unless you folks really want to see field 13, let me know. I didn't really plan on doing field 13. Field 13, I mean... Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, it's a big field. Big field, let's put it that way. Things definitely get a little uh, crazy and derpy on that field when uh, we start throwing lots of combines at it, so... But we can do the same thing on field six as well, on just a little bit to a smaller scale. Uh, and we can still throw a lot of combines at that field there as well. And uh, for what it's worth, that one, there is a limit uh, when it comes to uh, course play as well. Let's see once here. We'll just uh, tell you to drive the course. Hopefully he'll stay. Yeah, he'll stay there. Perfect. Uh, there's a limit to uh, course play, how many uh, combines we can run on a course play as well. And then technically along with that, I mean, there's also a limit as to how many hired workers we can have here. But I do have the mod that should uh, prevent that from being a thing. I think it's uh, I think up to 40 or something like that. Everyone. Otherwise, the game default, I think, is 10 hired workers. But uh, we should be able to use, I think it's 40, the mod bumps it up to, if I remember correctly. I do have that mod. Okay, where did we load the horses up from here again? Was that by the door here? No, actually, you know what? I seem to remember. I thought it was around the other side, wasn't it? Let's try by the door here first. Yeah, I think there's a loading ramp right by that green there. Let's double check here real quick, make sure. Nope, nothing there. Didn't think so. I think. Let's see once I think it's over here. Yes, there it is. That's that's what we're looking for. Uh, again, I haven't added uh, whatever mod is required to open the gates. I think that's like map object mod or something like that. I don't know. Map, map objects. Yeah, I think that's the name of the mod. Haven't done that yet, so gates don't open. Fine. We just back to the fence. To be honest, I don't probably need necessarily need the mod. Everyone. Adds a little more realism, maybe, but eh. there we go. Yes, let's start filling. Uh, we want uh, we want horses. Yes, that's what we want. Hey, oh, does this not is this not gonna hold horses? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't working there at first, but now it's working. Cool. Seven, eight, nine. Should have been what seventeen of them, I do believe. Oh, there we can actually see the horses going in too yet. Okay. That looks like a lot more than uh, the, the 17 horses that said we were going to get. And these horses do have collision on them, by the way. So, yeah, we can't just go running into these horses and run them over. That wouldn't be very nice anyway, right? 17 horses in the Yeah, I don't think there's 17 horses in there. Okay, to the cell point we go. See how much money we're going to make off this. I have no idea how much money we're going to make, everyone. I do remember the horses being quite lucrative. I just don't remember how lucrative they were. Is this the road we needed? Yeah, this is this road will do quite nicely. Oh, yeah, that's right. Can't hide the map in this uh, version of Farming Simic, can you? I'm used to having to be able to double push it. Goes from the, you know, at the big map to the hidden map to the small map. Now, on this one, you got the big map, small map. No hidden map. Again, all just little uh, nice additions to the game that you kind of uh, miss when you go back to previous versions. Still getting the hang of it yet, especially some of the key differences. I mean, I and Q and O and Y and... Yeah, they definitely have changed some stuff in that regards. And then, of course, uh, GPS, everyone. You go back to playing uh, GPS and farming sim in 19. It's like, oh my goodness, oh wait, control... Oh, that's right, not. Control W does not work in this one. And, of course, I come to play 15, everyone, and... Uh, Alt X is not working here, but we're getting the hang of it. Slowly but surely. Still slightly confusing. Okay, so was that. I forget if it was that one or over there somewhere. I guess we'll find out. Let's try here first. 
seem to vaguely recall this being it for some reason. Maybe not. Unload. Hey, unload. There it is. Yep, we are unloading. And oh my goodness, look at the money go up. Yes, perfect. Okay, we're just a little over halfway selling items. We're almost to a million dollars here. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. I mean, that is that is definitely some money there. Actually, how are the horses looking here as far as feed goes? Are we looking pretty good on that yet? Yeah, I would say we are. What I might do, I'm going to buy some more horses here then with this money. We'll uh, bump it up to like an even 100 or so, I was thinking. Still selling yet. Still selling. There we go. 1.1 million dollars for horses. Wow. What are they gonna do with the horses? There, I have no idea. It's, it's, you know, nothing we need to worry about. We just uh, we just sell the horses. Yeah, we we just raise and sell horses. That's all. Nothing to know. That's not the glue factory. Nope. Definitely not the glue factory. Okay, and maybe just because we can, I'm thinking we might uh, swing past field six here. I'm kind of curious how much uh, field six costs. Uh, again, I'm thinking tractor and planter first, everyone. And then we'll uh, we'll probably look at getting field six here. Where, uh, where is field six? Actually, you know what? I think we're coming upon it right here. I believe this is the buy icon here, isn't it? Yes, I do believe it is. Okay. Let's uh, swing past here, see how much this uh, field is going to cost. $1.2 million. Okay, so we almost have enough. Um, actually, you know what? We do have enough money to uh, purchase that at this uh, point. And one more thing. Uh, 162 hectares. 162 hectares, eh? Okay. I believe that puts it like uh, 300 and some acres, probably. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Somewhere between three and 400. So that's like a half a mile square field. Uh, yes, I remember that, everyone. Uh, and was that the problem of the truck here, or if this was a problem of the game? But when you apply brakes, everyone, you cannot steer. Yeah, notice you can't steer. It just uh, it just slides in a straight line. Don't remember, everyone, if that's the problem of the truck or if that's the problem of the game. Yeah, I just happened to see that. It's like, oh, uh, yes, I remember that. I remember that now. Okay, we'll leave that uh, truck there. Let's go buy some more horses here real quick, man, everyone. So animals, horses, and we'll push enter a bunch of times here. So, yes, I know. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, game. Why are you being so? There we go. Now oh, it's going. Come on. There we go. Okay. Hundred and, uh, or one million, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars left. Perfect. I think we buy some more equipment with that. one, if you ask me, so let's go uh, go shopping here real quick. Uh, tractors. Actually, let's go look at the mods here real quick. Tractors. Got a John Deere 8530, John Deere 9560R. Uh, I don't think this is the tractor I wanted. Um, let's find out here. Yeah, I mean it's a 8370R. Oh, and it's uh, being derpy there too from the looks of it. Hmm. Pretty sure I had a better mod for this. That one. Be sure I had a better mod here at some point. I will have to go uh, looking through my mods and see what's what I can find here again. Not, I mean, if we have to, everyone, maybe we'll use this one, but see what's what I can find. I'm pretty sure I had a better one. Wow, the steering on this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sell that one. Uh, for 231000 yes, so I need to add uh, $150,000 back in. You know what? I don't think you can do this here, can you? No. I will have to remember that. I'm going uh, cheat, to cheat $150,000 back in there for that tractor. Uh, for now, let's just buy another Magnum. It'll work. Or maybe we should get a quad track. Uh, maybe we should, yes, get a quad track. Yeah, let's do a quad track. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Only 379000 it's actually not much more expensive than the John Deere, and it's actually quite a bit a bigger tractor.
Oh, and look at the acceleration on that. Okay, then. Uh, while we're here, what else do we need? Oh, yes, planting machine. Sewing machines. We need... Let's see what's here. I'm half tempted to try the Brigo, everyone, because I won't mind trying that. Also, I would definitely want to try the John Deere, though, too. So... This actually is, uh... John Deere is actually wider working with than the Brigo, huh? Hmm. That is interesting. We also got the Case Flex Drill. Yeah, let's go with the Air Seeder. I mean, let's go with the John Deere Air Seeder here then. And then we need the uh, tanks that go with it. So John Deere, I think that's the right one, I'm assuming. Okay. And this is a pull-behind model. I know we were discussing this here last episode. I couldn't remember if the uh, Seeder was behind or in the mid. No, tank, then the Seeder. Just uh, my preference, I mean, I kind of always like the uh, mid ones. That way it puts the cedar up closer to the tractor, and then you can pull the tank behind, but... Yeah, this works too. There we go. Got it. Change course later. Okay, and then back to the farm we go, everyone. I will meet you folks back at the farm. Okay, we're almost uh, back to the farm here. Just started recording here already because I can see the one combine everyone is either finished or almost uh, finished on field three there. This actually looks like he's probably going to make one more pass back as the uh, pass of shame back. It looks like he is technically finished. I wonder if the other combine would finish that last row, but typical on uh, course play fashion, it always has to... Uh, like, make one last little narrow pass strip for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but one last uh, derpy pass, right? Which is often, by the way, Evan, where you have uh, problems because then you got both combines going next to each other. Of course, I still has not addressed that issue yet, by the way. That's still an issue in Farming Sim 19. It still happens uh, sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't, but uh, for the most part, Evan, you know, they still have not quite figured that one out yet. Uh, anyway, almost to the farm, Evan. We'll get this uh, cedar filled up. Uh, not sure what we're going to plant yet. Here, we'll figure that out. Oh, and that reminds me. We can sell our other old cedar here at this point as well. We're not going to want that one anymore. But we got the nice new big one here. This will make seeding much, much easier. Much, much quicker. Uh, 22 meters wide versus, uh, was it the measly 9 on our previous cedar? And that's like the big cedar in the game, too. Yet. I mean, that's, that was the biggest cedar in the game, right? Yeah, biggest cedar in the game, 9 meters, Evan. I mean, talk about pathetic. I wonder why we had to have mods back in uh, 15, everyone. Ugh, the in-game selection equipment was just abysmal. Okay, let's see once here. Uh, put on brakes. And refill that. No. No refill. Oh, there we go. There we go. Give me backwards just a little bit more. And that, of course, is filling up the tank with fertilizer. I don't know, can we see inside the tank? Yeah, we can. Don't see nothing in there, though. And then with seed. Uh, again, by the way, with this uh, cedar setup here, I think we discussed this last episode. Uh, the way it works in 15, everyone, the tank actually puts down the fertilizer. I know that's not right. That's not the way it's supposed to be in real life, but that's the way it works in the game here, everyone. The tank puts down the fertilizer, and then the cedar in the back actually puts down the seed. So, yeah, have to have the entire setup here. They uh, fortunately uh, seen the error of their way, everyone, and uh, fixed that here in uh, future versions of Farming Simulator. You know, 19 again, the planter can put down both the seed and the fertilizer, and even herbicide for that matter. Okay, what do we want to plant here? Oh, that's why I did not change it. So, oh, it's so old dust. Um, no, uh, grass, no corn. What? Oh, my goodness. Potatoes, what in the world? No. Soybeans, maybe. Oats? Yeah, how about some oats? That sounds pretty good to me. We'll do some oats here again. Not sure if you could uh, plant sorghum with the cedar like this or not. I believe that's usually typically a row crop thing, everyone. Apparently, uh, in 15, everyone, the uh, cedars definitely had mixed up, messed up uh, crop type selection on them, didn't they? Probably more of a mod, author mod thing, I'm thinking. Maybe, I'm not sure, but... Uh, should have bought an RX to pull this with, right, everyone? Yes, should have bought an RX to pull this with. Oh, well. 
Hey, case the exit flow is finished. Okay, let's take care of that here real quick. Minute. We're gonna stop you. Put him in a spot where he's hopefully out of the way. How about over here somewhere? And then we're gonna tell him to uh, request a driver. Might cause a problem here. We'll see once, but request driver. Okay, we'll just leave that uh, parked. That's right. Can't go that one. We need... You know what? I did not put you in a tab group yet, did I? Let's put you in the tab group. Number five. Works for me. Uh, again, I, mean, I kind of uh, categorize my tractors by their horsepower. That's how I usually do them. So, technically, a 600 horsepower tractor. So, probably group six. But I stop at five. So, groups one through five for my tractors. And then we're going to do control zero, control period, auto width. Enter that. Enter that. Oop. W, turn it on, lower it down, and then I think, do we have to turn on this one? Yes, you do. You have to turn on both. And uh, we are seeding. Oh, and we are seeding with an offset. Okay, nope. Don't like that. Don't like any part of that. Try that again. There we go. No offset. Oh, and we also switch seed. Um, okay, how did that happen? Oh, no, never mind. We did not switch seed. We are simply set on that. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the fertilizer. Fertilizer. I was thinking that was grass there for a minute. Okay, there we go. That definitely looks like a good plant set up there, if you ask me, everyone. I'm definitely liking the looks of that. Uh, can I sell? Let's see. Yes, I can sell it. We're just going to sell it right from the menu here. I mean, we can get a few more thousand for it. Sell. So. Sell. Yes, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, we could definitely get a few more thousand if we take it to the shop, but eh, not really worth it, in my opinion. Not to drive it all the way down there just for that. You know, I'll have to say, everyone, even uh, with a red tractor on the front, it's a pretty good-looking plant setup, if you ask me. I mean, the red tractor on the front really uh, takes away from it, but, oh, well, I mean, red tractor, duh. You know, unfortunately, back in uh, 15, everyone, uh, farming simulator didn't have any of the uh, proper branded farming equipment in it, so... Don't own the field. Yeah, we don't own the field. Nope, not that one. Uh, actually, field four. I mean, that actually probably wouldn't be a half bad field four and five there. I think if I remember correctly, back in my original series, I mean, I did purchase fields four and five. We might do that again. We'll see once here. I would say well, we're making some uh, pretty good progress here in this uh, series so far. Wow, planting at 14. Talk about a high-speed planter, everyone. 14, 15 mile an hour. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's, uh, that's some high-speed uh, planting there. I just, uh, just noticed this. Just taking a look at the horses here again, everyone, too, by the way. Uh, yeah, it looks like we probably can actually feed the horses again if we wanted to, everyone. Uh, now that we have 100 horses, I'm sure they'll hold quite a bit more than they did initially. Uh, still not sure if we'll need any more feed than what we actually have now. Again, they're not taking it that much. Might have to look at that again here at some point. Plant some more, uh, plant some, or plant an actual grass field, maybe. Don't get into that. Oh, boy, that got into that field a little bit, didn't it? Hoping not to have to sit here, raise it up and lower it down, turn it all off and on type of thing, but I think it probably had better. Don't want to mess that field up anymore. Speaking of messed up, how is it looking over here? How is field two looking? Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Okay, you missed a couple sections up there. I might have to see once if I can go back and finish those. Looks like he's probably on his last strip over there, I'm thinking. And then, yeah, I'll have to go up the top of that hill, everyone. 
Uh, I, actually, that's why some of that was already messed up, everyone, because I went back up there when I was finished and planted the missing sections. Uh, yeah, great, great job on my part, planting it with the wrong crop type, but oh well. Case main, yep, he is. Okay, let's hop over to him real quick for a minute. Pull it back out and check the map here. We got a missing section over there, missing section there, missing. Oh boy, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find those sections or not. I mean, there's. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, they might just have to stay that way. That's a little bit annoying. I don't know why I missed the section over here. That's kind of weird. Oh, there's a fertilizer tractor sitting out in the field here. Okay, what, what's up with that? Where did that come from? And why is it just randomly sitting in the field there? Well, I'm thinking probably somewhere in here is maybe where the problem is. So let's just uh, replant this section. Yep, that's where the problem was. Just, uh, just hazard a guess there, everyone, that the tractor probably had something to do with it. I don't know why that tractor's there either. That was not there the last time around when I planted the field. I don't know where that came from. I planted this entire field myself I went the first time around and uh, yeah like I said there was no there was no tractor no fertilizing tractor there okay I'm just gonna guess here that the field that's planted this way must be the section that needs to be replanted hopefully anyway and then we just got one more small section. It looked like I'm not sure where that section is. I don't know if I'm able to find that one. We'll give it a quick try here. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, right by the number two there. When there is another little section there. Okay, let's see if we can find that here a minute. Oh, actually, you know what? The map here is going to help. It does have the two on it, so it is... Ah, right there. Right there, I bet. Perfect. Back it back up here because I don't think I quite got it all. There we go. Never back up with a lowered planter in real life, by the way. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Don't ever want to do that. Game doesn't matter, but... Okay, there we go. I'm happy with that one. Much, much better. Okay, let's not do that again. I don't know how that happened in the first place, everyone, but uh, that was bad. Or could have been bad. That, well, actually, I don't know that it was so bad here in 15. Everyone, if you did that in 19, yeah, just plow the field under and get rid of it. You, you don't want you want anything to do with that. Uh, 15, everyone, I don't remember it being such an issue. It's just you got to combine around it. Just pain. That's all that is. Yeah, 19, everyone, oh, my goodness. It plugs up the entire operation. It basically shuts you down. You might as well just like to cultivate the field under if you uh, do a field like that in, uh, in 19. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll put this uh, cedar back away, and that seems like probably a pretty good spot to wrap it up here for today's episode, everyone. So with that, thanks for watching. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below, and until next time.